Okay, we're going to start off with our sponsors, which I'm going to do backwards today. Okay, so we've got the Vivo team, which is a school support company that does extracurricular activities and PPA cover. Then we've got Mouth to Mouth London, which does marketing and PR. Um, I'm wearing my Tomlin jersey, which is for Gavin Tomlin. He, this is his Brentford jersey, but now he's at Dagenham and Redbridge, and he went on loan to Torquay United and scored you know, on his debut the other day, which is a nice chip over the keeper, so I thought I'd wear that for Gav, well done, Gavin. Okay, I was going to do a review of the papers. As you can see, I'm just like fed up. I read through so many of them, and they're just so boring. I used to look forward to Sunday papers, and now, I thought like I went for it. Look all that. So... I'm not even going to bother going for it. So I'm just going to go through some kind of semi-interesting news. Um, we've got Barcelona are interested in an English-based player. And I thought, okay, so it's going to be Tevez because technically he's very good. Obviously scoring loads of goals. But also his work ethic will suit theirs because their pressing game is tremendous. And we all know about um, Tevez. But then one of my friends um, said to me, do you know what? What about Gareth Bale? And I was like, Bale? And he said, yeah, they could play him left back. And I was thinking, do you know what? That would be, I mean, if they got him there, that would be unbelievable. And I didn't really think about it, but now it's got me thinking. So, so far we've got Tevez and it could be Bell. I mean, what do you guys think? Do you think there could be another guy in the mix? You never know. As you know, football's full of surprises. Then we've got Reyna, who's basically refusing to rule out Man United. I can't believe Liverpool put £20 million clause in his contract. It's ridiculous. He's worth a lot more than that. And I actually think he's going, and I think he's going Man United. He's not going Arsenal because they won't pay that money. You know what they're like already. Um, he's not going Chelsea because they've got Czech. He's not going City because they've got Hart. It's not worth talking about any other club in this, co um, in this country, to be honest. He's not going Madrid because they've got Casillas. He's not going Barca because they've got Valdez. One club, that's it, which is worth leaving for. So he's going Man United. Heard it here first. Kaka. They're saying he's going to be leaving, and they're linking him to Chelsea and City. Don't don't think Chelsea are going to go for him. They've you know they've ruled him out so many times. City probably do it because you know they love a signature signing to try and att attract others. But the question for me is: Is he going to be the new Shevchenko? Because when Shevchenko came over, I kept making excuses for him. And, I, you know, I was thinking, oh, you know, Lampard's not giving him through balls wide, where he was getting fed by Seydorf and Pirlo and blah de blah de blah And then did the same thing with Kaka to Madrid. He's not playing in the same role. But I'm thinking they're not hitting the, even near the performance level. So I don't know what it is. I mean, are these guys peaking too early? And I had a thing with, you know, players burning out. But I thought it was more in the English leagues because of how much running they do. So you ran up and down. So you had Michael Owen burning out. And, you know... I, we can't say Rooney yet, but, you know, it's, it's looking like that. But I think it's a bit too early to say he's burnt out, to be honest. Another question is, you know, should Arsene Wenger get sacked, really? Because, I mean, that question is starting to come around now. It'd be interesting to get your opinion on it. You know, do you think he should get sacked? Um, and there's something I want to talk about, which is Sir Alex Ferguson, because I think he's always been respected about what he's won, but I think this time now, he's starting to show his real worth as a manager. Because, no disrespect to the Man United players, but everyone knows it's not one of their greatest teams. And the fact that they went unbeaten for half the season, and they're still in nearly all competitions, it says a lot about the manager. And he's literally got them like puppets, and he's programmed them to know their role and play in that position and do a job. And they do it, and basically, it's go and win. And he's doing that. And to be fair... I respect him so much more because obviously he's always been rated for winning those things. But this is when your real qualities as a manager really show, to be honest with you. I don't think anybody else has got that. It's literally, um, when I spoke to one of my friends today and he said if, if it was a boxing match, Man United can go into a scrap. They can go into it technically. They, can, they basically can match anything. Any team you put in front of them, they will adapt to that team and get the result. And that is football. And I was sitting there and I was thinking, I've nodded my head along. I was thinking, do you know what? You're so right. As much as I love ultimate football, I mean, you know, you've got to love that, the fact that they can actually do that. So to be fair to the Grizzly Bear, I mean, I think Man U will probably be champions again with this so-called basic team that everyone goes on about. Okay, so until next time, guys, I'll see you later.